The Georgia 4-H Environmental Education Program is like a living, growing tree with seeds originally planted in the 1970s. With the National Environmental Education Act passed in 1970, people across America celebrated the first Earth Day. Throughout the decade, conferences were held, curricula developed, and plans were rolled out to support the growth of environmental education. The nation had a focus and an interest in the environment. Simultaneously, Georgia 4-H was enjoying steady growth of its statewide program through county 4-H clubs and 4-H summer camps. Yet Rock Eagle 4-H Center, which opened in 1955, was not being used to its full capacity. By the 70s, Rock Eagle badly needed additional revenue. We first looked at adults to bring in that revenue, but the center really is developed for young people. So the environmental education program came along, which not only brought us the young people, but also brought them during the week, which really helped meet our budget needs. With $300 and a six-month time frame, Diane Davies nurtured the seed that was 4-H environmental education into a living, growing tree at Rock Eagle 4-H Center. In that first year, Diane served over 2,000 students with day and residential field studies using the outdoors as a classroom without walls. When Tom Rogers hired me to start the 4-H environmental education program, I knew that I didn't have much time. I had to hit the ground running, and so I had to coordinate the, the program with the schools, I had to promote it with the schools, I had to set up the curriculum, and then develop the foundation for the program with, with the curriculum and the design and the vision for the environmental education program. We started with one school. I ended up serving several different schools at the end of May. And from that point forward, in the first year, I served over 2,000 students. By 1986, the program was serving over 6,000 participants and additional staff members were added, allowing Diane to focus on statewide growth. And grow it did. By the late 1980s, the Georgia 4-H Environmental Education Program was being delivered at the 4-H centers at Rock Eagle, Jekyll Island, Wasiga in Dahlonega, and the Burton 4-H Center on Tybee Island. The branches grew to the 4-H Tidelands Nature Center on Jekyll Island and to Fortson 4-H Center in Hampton in the 2000s. It was evident that our tree was flourishing, providing true benefits to those who gathered around its trunk. Like a tree, the 4-H Environmental Education Program has many functional and diverse parts, keeping it relevant over the years with classes that focus on a variety of topics. Environmental education is extremely important. As a teacher, I can teach vocabulary, but until the students have some experiences to connect that vocabulary to, it doesn't have as strong of a meaning. So it's hard to get them to protect the things they don't understand. We teach them about environmental education, then they understand what needs to be protected and how they can become stewards of what's important of our environment. The Georgia Environmental Education Program is so influential because we see such a diverse group of students um, and we are able to um, bridge a gap between their world and the natural world um, in a way that will hopefully inspire um, new generations to um, want to make some sort of positive change for that environment. In 2013, the program serves over 45,000 participants each year. The original goals developed by Diane still provide the strong roots on which we deliver the program today. The Georgia 4-H Environmental Education Program has provided a lot of students with the opportunity to learn science in the natural environment. We see young people who come to our 4-H centers who have never seen the stars. They may live in Brunswick, Georgia and go to the beach at Jekyll Island and see the ocean for the first time. We also in the environmental education program see students and teachers that begin to understand and see each other as maybe real human beings. I think also our county extension programs have benefited from the environmental education program because our county agents and 4-H agents now have an opportunity to interact with teachers in a different uh, element. They also have an opportunity to offer 4-H to these young people uh, outside of the science classroom and help those young people begin to build life skills in, in other areas. And I think our future is extremely bright 
because there are a lot of young people who need the experience of learning science in the natural environment. Today, over one million lives have been touched by the Georgia 4-H Environmental Education Program. That's one million students who have applied knowledge and skills acquired in classrooms to real-life situations, cultivated curiosity, critical reasoning, and evaluation skills, developed positive relationships with peers and teachers, acquired self-confidence and physical fitness, gained awareness and knowledge of our environment, learned appreciation for Georgia's local and natural history, experienced scientific process skills such as observing, measuring, and classifying in the context of local environments. One million students who have benefited from the Georgia 4-H Environmental Education Program. One million seeds planted in a world where youth and adults learn, grow, and work together as catalysts for positive change. One million people and counting.